W16. The first engine that we will show today is the legendary 8-liter 16-cylinder W16 with four turbo compressors. For the first time, it got inside production cars already in 2005, and it is too early to talk about a well-deserved retirement. This amazing motor has not lost its relevance, and recently, Bugatti representatives announced they were not going to remove it from production for at least another 10 years. The first production car to have a W16 inside was the Bugatti Veyron, and the Bugatti Chiron replaced this model, but the engine remained unchanged. It is noteworthy that W16 is the result of many years of hard work, which, however, more than paid for itself. In fact, the device consists of two blocks of the BP-8 type. Such motors by themselves never got into the car, complemented by four turbochargers. They allow to demonstrate over 1,400 horsepower. That is incomprehensible. And so thanks to the motors, Bugatti became one of the fastest cars on the planet. The most powerful modified version of the W16 can be found in the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. Its power is no less than 1,578 horsepower. Rocket Engine RD-171MV Since we are talking about the coolest powertrains on the planet, we simply have to mention a car so powerful that it is enough for flights into space. Here is the RD-171MV, a closed-cycle liquid-propellant rocket engine developed by Russian specialists. Work on its creation was carried out from 2017 to 2019, and in the coming years, the first stage of a new medium-class Soyuz 5 launch vehicle will be supplied. This amazing engine will also receive the super-heavy Yenin Tsai rocket, which is scheduled to launch in 2028. This model is a modified version of the RD-171M engine. The engineers managed to completely do without imported components, and sure thing, the engine was improvised. While creating its design, specialists took into account the shortcomings of its predecessor. So the RD-171MV boasts enhanced protection against fire and a completely new control system. In the circle of specialists, this unit was nicknamed the King Engine, and it is no coincidence that its power is comparable to that of a large power plant. It weighs just over 22,000 pounds, is 13 feet high, and 11 and a half feet in diameter. Turbo 1.6 liter 90 V6. Let's go back to the slightly less gigantic machines. For the first time, Formula One cars received 1.6-liter turbocharged V6 engines in 2014. Then, the power units demonstrated about 600 horsepower and about 15,000 RPM. After six years, nothing has changed much. Cars still ride on this engine. Preference, of course, is given to a modified, that is an improvised version with a current power up to 1,000 horsepower, which allows cars to accelerate to 185 to 230 miles. Interesting features include high-performance single turbocharging and dual recuperation. This means that the engine utilizes not only the kinetic energy of the car during braking, but also the energy of the exhaust gases. Caterpillar C175-20 If you've always wondered what an engine should look like to move one of the heaviest trucks in the world, the C175-20 model is the answer to your question. You can find one inside the Caterpillar 797F, which is one of the five most lifting special equipment in the world. Its net power is 3,793 horsepower. S175-20 is a diesel four-stroke, 20-cylinder engine and is water-cooled. The working volume is almost 106 liters. It is noteworthy that the device is also a diesel generator set. That is, the C175-20 can also be responsible for the power supply of various systems. 
Since this is a complex and expensive machine, each unit is assembled, taking into account the requirements for further operation. For instance, its mechanisms can be aimed at saving fuel, or at producing as little harmful emissions as possible. In any case, this is an extremely reliable, durable machine that has already proven itself in thousands of regions all around the world. Koenigsegg 5.0 liter V8 The next motor we'll talk about today is famous for being installed in an astounding Koenigsegg Jesko Megacar. This is a 5-liter bit-turbo V8 engine, but the engineers had to rethink its design. Its crankshaft is flat, and the passive engine mounts have been replaced with active ones. The developers claim that this crankshaft is the lightest in the world and can be found in V8 engines, weighing only 27.5 and a half pounds. At the same time, the model has two turbochargers, a 20-liter carbon fiber air receiver, and a small electric compressor, all in order to eliminate the possibility of turbo lag. If 91 gasoline were poured into the car, the engine would demonstrate 1,280 horsepower. And if you think this is a lot, replace 91 gasoline with E85 biofuel. Then the output will increase and amount to 1,600 horsepower. Wurzilla RTA 96C-14 Two-stroke turbocharged diesel engine from Finnish specialists. This is a gigantic machine, the mind-boggling power of which may only be needed for one purpose, to power container ships. As you know, they are the largest cargo vehicles in the world. Of course, a ship capable of carrying up to 170,000 tons at a time needs an appropriate power unit. RTA 96C14 can be found inside Danish container ship Emma Maersk. The model is equipped with a turbocharger crank mechanism and an intercooler. The number of cylinders can vary from 6 and up to 14. But let's talk about sizes. When it comes to truly gigantic cars, dimensions are always of particular concern. The engine is 43 feet high and 88 feet long, with a dry weight of 2,300 tons. And this is not surprising. Only the crankshaft here weighs as much as 300 tons. The displacement of the 14-cylinder engine will be 25,000 liters, and the displayed power, sit if you are standing, is almost 109,000 horsepower. Viper V10 the last motor we'll talk about today takes us back to the world of high-speed sports cars. In general, the production of the Viper V10 engine began already in 1992. Since then, of course, technology has managed to jump forward, so the engine has been greatly improved. We are interested in the fifth and last generation, in which the power since 2015 is approximately 645 horsepower, and the number of revolutions per minute is 6,200. Engineers increased the cylinder diameter, piston stroke, and so they managed to increase the volume from 8 to 8.3 liters. Moreover, the design of the intake manifold of the camshaft cams was improved. The ignition system received individual coils. All of these, as well as some other minor alterations, allowed the motor to accelerate the car to 205 miles per hour. But this, however, is far beyond limit. Experts say, if desired, all 800 horsepower could be squeezed out of the Viper V10, which is hindered by environmental standards, which in this case would have to be violated. That's all for today, friends. Please write in the comments which engine did you like the most. And also, don't forget to support the channel with your like if this video was interesting, as well as subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so as to not miss new videos. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.